Rose. I lost. If you saw the match between Zack versus Jaden, retirement match at Zackamania day one earlier, then you would have seen that your boy took his first L of 2023 and his first L of Zackamania. I kind of feel like the Undertaker right now. Heartbroken, destroyed, ready to give up. Props to Jaden, of course. He was a great competitor, my best rival ever. And honestly, congratulations. He deserved it. I've been kicking his ass for years. I mean, we've been kicking each other's asses, but he's gotten wins and I've gotten wins. But here's a secret that none of you know. I wanted it to be reversed. I wanted him to win at Clash of the Kingdom. And then I wanted him to put the title on the line at Zachamania so I could beat him at my grand show and stay 16, 17, and I would have been 17 and 0. But now that it happened, now that that didn't happen, I don't even know if I want to do my match with Kenneth now. I mean, yeah, I know I have a redemption chance, but. Just because I beat Kenneth doesn't mean that I'm gonna... It's not like that one is gonna go away. I'll just be 17 and one. But a lot of you are happy that that happened. A minimum of you are shocked and upset that that happened. And for those of you that are shocked and upset, I'm sorry I let you down. I'm sorry I let myself down, and I will do my best to come back from this. I will do my best to become faster and stronger. But it's Easter, I can't be too upset, right? So to relax from the fight, from the match, and to heal myself up and relax my body, I'm gonna charge my phone, turn it off, and then I'm going to um, just watch some scary movies and eat my candy and eat my snacks. And drink some soda. I am um, fairly saying, Zach's in two losses, I mean, you have to retire. Well, let me explain. So, If I lose to Kenneth tomorrow, if it happens, then I will fully retire from wrestling for good and never come back. But if I defeat Kenneth, then not only do I become 17 and 1, but I will stay in wrestling for good, but, uh, but as a part-timer. When there's nothing wrong with being a part-timer. I mean, look at John Cena. He's a part-timer, and people love him. I know a lot of you were turned on me. A lot of you wanted Jaden to win. And look what you got. Even though I busted my ass training every day while he just sat around and ate and just chilled on his phone and watched TV and do shit like that. But I'm not here to talk shit. I'm here to say congratulations. And you deserved it. I love you, brother. And if this isn't the last match, I hope it isn't, because I would love to step into the ring with you again, because a lot of people love our rivalry. A lot of you love seeing me wrestle. So maybe even if I lose to Kenneth, maybe I'll still come back. I don't know. I haven't decided. But I gotta make sure that match is still happening. But um, I just want to say Happy Easter. I know I'm late. Um, I actually have a vlog with Kiki that will be uploaded today after this and um Hello. I'm gonna be not as active on social media as much anymore. 
I'm gonna figure out what I did wrong. And I'm gonna come up from it. And redeem myself. But thank you for sh to Shaquille for hosting Zach and Mania so far. Because then they, the day might not be over. Um, thank you to Crazy Biscuit for reacting to it. And he predicted me to win. And I'm sorry I let you down, man. I don't know who Shaquille wanted to win, but... If he wanted me, if Shaquille, if you wanted me to win, I'm sorry I let you down. If you wanted Jaden to win, then you got your wish. But yeah. I'm so heartbroken from this. I know you guys can say it's just a wrestling match. Well, losing isn't easy. Last time I lost from Travis, I was heartbroken. I didn't even want to look at each anyone in the face, but now that I lost twice, it hurts. It really does. It makes me feel like a loser, a failure, a trash wrestler, a trash person. It makes me feel like it's what Christine said about me. I was a mistake. Take care.